In this question, we are asked to show that of all the rectangles inscribed in a given fixed circle, the square has the maximum area. Here we are given a fixed circle. That means the radius of the circle is fixed or constant and we are inscribing rectangle in this circle. Let's say the rectangle has sides A and B and we want to show that the rectangle will have maximum area only when it is a squared that is A is equals to B. So let's write area of this rectangle A is A into B that is length into breadth. Now there seems to be two variables in the area of this rectangle but we can eliminate one of them using the properties of circle the diagonal of this rectangle passes through the center of the circle so the diagonal will also be the diameter of the circle so length of this diagonal will be 2r so from Pythagoras theorem I can write a squared plus b squared equals to 2r whole squared that is equals to 4r squared from this I can write b squared equals to 4r squared minus a squared or b equals to square root 4r squared minus a squared. Here note that I have ignored the negative solution of this equation because b being side of a rectangle will always be positive. So I have taken only positive solution. So now the area of the rectangle can be written as a into 4r squared minus a squared. Now if we want we can take derivative of capital A with respect to small a and find our answer for maximum and minimum but because of this square root it will be tedious to find first and second derivative but if we note that area of the rectangle will always be positive then the maximum of a and a squared will lie at same value of small a. So instead of maximizing a I can maximize squared of area. So instead of maximizing area I can maximize squared of area. Let's call squared of area f that will be equals to area squared that is equals to a squared into 4r squared minus a squared and to maximize f we do df by dA equals to 0. So let's find first derivative of f with respect to a that will be 2a into 4r squared minus a squared plus a squared into derivative of 4r squared will be 0 because it is constant minus derivative of a squared will be 2a that is equals to 8a r squared minus 2a cube minus 2a cube that is equals to 8a r squared minus 4a cubed and if I set this equals to 0 I get I can take 4a common 2r squared minus a squared equals to 0 so this gives me a equals to 0 or a squared equals to 2r squared or a equals to root 2r and note again here I have ignored the negative solution of this equation because a being side of the rectangle will always be positive. Now to check whether we have maximum or minimum I will have to do second derivative test. So d2f by da2 will be equals to derivative of this expression with respect to a so that will be 8r squared minus 12a squared and for a equals to 0 d2f by da2 will be 8r squared this is positive so minimum at a equals to 0 this is we are not interested in so d2f by da2 at a equals to root 2r will be equals to 8r 
स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व ए स्क्वायर विल बी टू आर स्क्वायर दैट इज माइनस सिक्सटीन आर स्क्वायर दैट इज नेगेटिव सो आई हैव मैक्सिमम एट ए इक्वल्स टू रूट टू आर नाउ व्हेन ए इज रूट टू आर लेट्स फाइंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बी यूजिंग ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू फोर आर स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू फोर आर स्क्वायर गिव्स मी टू आर स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू फोर आर स्क्वायर दिस गिव्स मी बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू टू आर स्क्वायर दिस गिव्स मी बी इक्वल्स टू रूट टू आर एंड हियर अगेन आई हैव ignore the negative solution of this equation because b is side of a rectangle so it will be positive so here note that b is equals to root 2r and a is also equals to root 2r so this gives me that a is equals to b so when our area is maximum a is equals to b that means the rectangle is a square 